Now to a scandal that will not die. Four years after the attempted sale of JEA became a criminal and a political quagmire, it's now front and center in the race for Jacksonville mayor. The city council president announcing that he has reopened a special committee to investigate the failed sale of JEA. And this time focusing on council member and Republican mayoral candidate Leanna Comber, following allegations that she lied when she didn't disclose her husband's role in the potential sale. But is this investigation politically motivated? For more on this story, we want to turn now to On Your Side's Rich Donnelly, who's joining us from the newsroom. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. With less than two months to go before the citywide elections, the race for mayor is already red hot, which has some asking, is the relaunch of the JEA investigation about the accountability, or is it just the latest form of campaign mudslinging? Televisions across Jacksonville are inundated with commercials from rival Republican mayoral candidates Leanda Cumber and Daniel Davis, each accusing the other of misrepresentations related to the JEA sale. But it's the claims against Cumber that prompted City Council President Terrence Freeman to reopen the JEA Special Committee, specifically whether Cumber deceived or misled the council about her husband's involvement in the sale. In a statement, Daniel Davis said in part, quote, that Leanna Cumber would publicly demand transparency while harboring such contempt for the truth is an egregious violation of the public trust that deserves to be investigated. Cumber, who has been highly accessible during her campaign, did not respond to a request for comment. However, she previously said she was not required by law to disclose her husband's role and that he was not paid for his role in sale discussions. John Daigle, a longtime Jacksonville political consultant who is not involved in the mayor's race, says the investigation could have a major impact on the race. Politics is like the hula dance. Uh, every move means something. The reaction from the Davis camp uh, was very swift and seems to be very effective. I think uh, if they are successful in turning this around and pinning the JEA scandal on Cumber instead of him, then it probably will be the one thing that makes the, the most difference in this race. Council members Rory Diamond and Nick Howland are the chair and vice chair of the investigatory committee. Council member Matt Carlucci has a problem with that and says Diamond and Howland already expressed a bias. They're both supporting the other candidate for mayor. They've been made chair and vice chair of this committee. Uh, that's not fair. And I wouldn't wish that on any of my colleagues. I wouldn't wish it on Daniel Davis. Council members Sam Newby and Michael Boylan are also on the committee. Carlucci also said that he thinks the investigatory committee should have only been formed if an outside group like the Ethics Committee or the state attorney called for an investigation. The first meeting will be held next Wednesday, February 8th at 8.30 in the morning. In the newsroom, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side.